just what is the real story behind one of the, or two of the, excuse me, two of the WWE releases in the company. It's been a worldwide release. Welcome to Sean's Entertainment, where we give you all the news and the rumors on time, all the time, around the clock, as it happens in real time. We don't make you wait hours or days or minutes. We do it in real time, all the time. That's why it's so crucial to hit the bell, subscribe, and comment on this video. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lucha House Parties, Grand Metalik and Lynch Dorado, were among the 18 released stars by WWE last Thursday. It was noted back in late September how Metalik reportedly requested his WWE release due to being unhappy with the lack of opportunities. It was later revealed that Dorado was also requested his release for the same reasons. But what is the details? Why did Vince McMahon let them go after their loss on the WWE main event show, which really isn't seen by a whole hell of a lot of people? In an update, word now via the Wrestling Observer newsletter is that Metalik and Dorado requested their releases after being asked to lose to Garza and Carulio at the WWE main event tapings on September the 13th in Boston, which aired on September 16th as part of the weekly Hulu episode. This is reportedly where, you know, Vince McMahon, I guess I had enough. You know, Vince McMahon probably just didn't see the, a, a future for these guys. You know, they had to trim the roster, and these guys were part of the trimmings. And here's the thing. They asked for their release. So why are they so bothered? Why are they so mad that Vince McMahon released them after their main event loss? They wanted a talk. They wanted a talk with Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon didn't like the fact that they wanted to talk with the, the the boss, the owner of the World Wrestling Entertainment. And can you blame Vince McMahon? Because, again, these guys were unhappy. They didn't like their spot. They didn't like their position. They didn't like the fact that they didn't, you know, they didn't get certain opportunities. So they wanted their release. Vince McMahon grants them their release. And then they get mad. And then they get a little bit butthurt that, uh, oh, well, Vince, uh, you know, you had us lose on main event. Again, main event isn't even seen by a hell of a lot of people. So I don't see what the, what, what the whole thing here about is. Again, it's very sad. It's very tragic that these guys lost their jobs. They were released. They were axed. But again, they asked for it. They wanted it. They kind of demanded it. So again, um, you know, regarding the loss to Garza and Carrillo, this, there was a feeling among some within WWE that this was punishment for Dorado, who was booked to lose the fall to a makeshift team, uh, which usually, uh, when usually Metal League took the fall when the team would lose. At the time, there were no plans for Garza and Carrillo to be pushed, which has since now changed since they are on the SmackDown brand. Yes, and now, you know, Garza and his tag team partner are, are now getting a push. They are now getting seen. And, you know, again, these guys asked. They, they, wanted, their, they wanted their release. They got their release. And, 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 now, and now, all of a sudden, it's becoming an issue. Now, all of a sudden, it's becoming a problem. Dorado was reportedly upset after the loss to Garza and asked to talk to WWE Chairman and CEO Vince McMahon, but wanting to talk to Vince over the result of a match wasn't viewed so well, especially because it was on a main event episode that most fans won't even end up seeing. Dorado was reportedly the one who asked to be released following the match, but Metalik agreed to ask for his release as well. Metalik reportedly wanted to go out at the time, but the word is that he is not the kind of guy who was uh, who would have asked to be let go. There's a feeling that Dorado and Metalik would have would have not survived the most recent round of budget cuts releases. Despite the earlier request to be let go, the releases were speculated on when they were left out of the WWE draft, which came after they asked to be let go. So there is the story on that. That's what's happening. That is what's going down. That is what's trending right now, ladies and gentlemen. Vince McMahon, a released WWE stars, released WWE stars asked to talk with Vince McMahon after their WWE main event loss. So ladies and gentlemen, your comments and your opinions, and do you feel this was right? Did they deserve to get released? Did they deserve to be part of the chopping block? And even if they hadn't asked for their releases, do you think they would have been part of the WWE releases? Your opinions, your comments, more to come from the Brash and Brazen show and view, Damon, where we will not be mistaken or overtaken. Subscribe. Later.